It's hard to ignore someone that's six foot seven, but that's what happened to quarterback Paxton Lynch. The three-star recruit ran the wing T in high school and hit Memphis's radar only after a staffer read a story on overlooked prep players. Paxton's performance last year against Ole Miss put him on the map. In a comeback win over the eventual Sugar Bowl champs, he passed for 384 yards and three touchdowns. Entering 2015, Lynch drew consideration for a pair of esteemed honors. He was named a player to watch for both the Davy O'Brien and Manning Awards. Both are given annually to the best quarterback in college football. As a sophomore, he helped lead the Tigers to their first conference crown since 1971. The team also posted 10 wins for just the second time in school history, first since 1938. But the records didn't stop there. In a Miami Beach Bowl win over BYU, Lynch registered seven total touchdowns. No one has ever had more in an FBS bowl game. At the nation's most watched job interview, Lynch ran the 40-yard dash in just under 4.9 seconds. While that number wasn't among the best of his position, his jumps were. The man from Memphis has hops. His 36-inch vertical ranked first, alongside Cardell Jones among passers at the combine. Lynch also caught big air in the broad jump. His 9 foot 10 inch tally tied him with Carson Wentz for second. At Memphis, he directed an up-tempo attack, and there are some concerns about Lynch's ability to run an NFL offense. With his combination of size and athleticism, Lynch has drawn comparisons to Brock Osweiler and could benefit from learning under a savvy veteran. But if a team needs him immediately, he said he's ready. In the 2016 NFL Draft, Paxton Lynch is projected as a first-round pick. Thank you for watching this presentation of NFL Network. Watch the National Football League 24 hours a day on NFL Network.